admit all. Excellent. Okay, what's up, everybody? Hey, how okay. is everyone today? Hey, Stace, Great how are you? you? I'm I'm doing quite well. Thank you for asking. And how about you, Trevor? Um, I'm good. Lassie, oh, how are you? Guys... I like that smile. Everybody, Nolan's in the house. What hey, does, here. What good my, to see you guys. What does my, my, my shirt say? Let's see. Um, it says, says, we, it says, I am so happy to be doing art today. Daisy, I don't think it says that. Oh, I can't read uh, it though, it's too small. Hi, Michaela, Lassia. Oh, Lassia. Best it's day ever. Best day best ever. Day our, ever. Our, our day is kind of the best day ever, actually. I like um, that. Okay. I went to Ocean City for three days. Oh my God, Ooh. that sounds so good. That sounds get, like I gotta fun. Get, I got to get to OC. I got to get to OC. Um, all right, so Jacob's in the house. Uh, I'm just waiting to everybody get in here. Um, we're going to do some drawings. Jacob. We're going to do some drawings that are like, um, I call them broken drawings. And just let me let Jacob in here. He's probably going to have something to say about it. <clears throat> um, and I'll show you what I mean by broken drawings. Um, it means that the lines um, actually don't give a clear outline. They're like all separate. Now, I'm going to pick a couple easy ones. Um, well, maybe not that easy, but you'll see what I mean. And it's just like a good skill to have. Hey, Jacob, what's up, man? Can you hear me? I get a thumbs up. Excellent. Sweet. Um, Jacob. I need my scissors. What if I folded it? Um, Keith, Maddie, okay. give me a pair of scissors. Sorry, guys. Um, I, have a, actually, I have a pretty funny warm up. Let's do it. You always want to do a funny warm up? Let's do a warm up. I do. I know. Um, thank you, Maddie. Um, all right. So these are called embellishment drawings. So this is just a starting point. So we'll draw the starting point really simply. And then you can like add on to it and you can keep adding on to it until, you know, until we're like, okay, that's enough. Um, all right. The first one is going to be, let me see if I can cut it out here. I'm going oh, to keep, I'm gonna keep the name, but I had, it was like a funky shape. It's kind of easy, but it's going to be still like super fun. All right. First embellishment drawing. <clears throat> supposedly that's a fried egg huh. I feel like we can okay do i feel yeah. like we can do i feel like we can do better all right so i'm gonna first start with a circle mm -hmm. and that's gonna be the yolk part mm -hmm. and i when i think about uh fried eggs like sunny side up eggs i usually think about not a circle but more of like an oval nice jacob oh my gosh the drawing's ridiculous jacob um, wow. Hold that up again. Stacy will take a picture of it. I would love to. Wow. Jacob. Um, thank so you. I started with a, I started with a, um, I started with a red, with like a red pencil. And I realized that I should probably switch over to yellow because the yolks of the egg are yellow. Sometimes they can be orange, actually. I've seen some that are so, like, so rich and, you know, like off of a farm. They were almost, they were orange. They weren't even red, yellow, they were orange. <clears throat> okay, mm -hmm. next move, I'm gonna do, and then the other thing is, um, the way I'm gonna embellish on this is like, there's the, there's the yolk, which is the yellow part, and then there's the egg whites. I'm gonna embellish on this one by making two, because I always eat two, sometimes even three. So here's a second one. I'm gonna start with orange, and I'm gonna add the same yellow to it. I mean, you can probably imagine where I'm going with this because, oh my gosh, it broke. So now it's runny. All right, so this yoke broke a little bit, so it's gonna run. That's where you call, that's what you call a happy accident. So I did not mean to do that, but I, me I, made, I messed up on the mark. All right, so here we go. Now I'm gonna draw the outline of where the border of the egg white is. And then um, they're going to combine because I'm gonna, in theory, I crack them about the same time. So the both the egg whites are going to run together. Yes. 
I like it. What else do we need? Maybe pepper. So, Should I put pepper on it? I put yeah. pepper on it. How can you have a, yeah, for sure. Put some pepper in the form of some dots. Should we put it on a plate? Maybe we'll put it on a plate. We can make a perfectly circular plate or just like we made it the oval, because like the egg yolk is round if you look exactly on top of it. But since we're seeing it a little bit from the side, it's gonna be more of an oval. And so is the plate. The plate's gonna be more of an oval too. Please stay on the screen. Sorry. I'm zooming out now. <clears throat> All right, so in the spirit of the oval, I'm gonna make a cup of OJ. So I'm gonna do the, the top of the cup, which is gonna be an oval, just like the eggs, just like the plate. And I'm gonna do the sides of the cup, which, you know, the, you could make it like perfectly straight on the sides. I made them angle in a little bit. And then the bottom of the cup has to be round too. And now I can actually use my orange. Wait, is orange juice more yellow than orange? I guess it depends. I'm gonna use orange. I'm gonna fill up my cup. Ooh, I'll fill it all the way up. I'm gonna, you could fill it all the way up or you could leave like a little space so it looks like glass. That's cool. Can I get a suggestion? What else do we need? We can do, maybe I'll put a napkin over What about here. a fork and a knife? That's nice. I like forks and knives. Don't forget a spoon. The uh, dish ran right, ran away with it though. Um, all right, there's my napkin. <laughs> I just use a rectangle for my napkin. So now if this was my, um, my fiance, Kristen, she likes these other napkins, which are squares. So I'm gonna get an extra one out for Kristen. And these have, um, these have like these little patterns on it where mine is just like thick and um, absorbent. <laughs> and it's not very decorative, but Kristen's are like plastic, but they're very decorative. Um, all right. Should we keep adding stuff? I don't know. So, I can maybe add like a little shadow underneath the plate. So it makes it look like it's not just floating there. There's a little shadow on that edge. If I did a shadow for that plate, maybe I can do a little shadow for the cup. Can I share mine? Uh, yeah. Sure. That's mine. Ooh, you did the view from above. I love it. Yeah, and I really like that pink fork. Yeah, the fork is great too. I have a pink fork. All right, fine. I'll put a fork in. I'll even make it. I'll even make it pink. So my the forks that I like um, have like <laughs> longer. There's four <laughs> spokes, and they're kind of longer. Put a spoon too. I'll do a spoon. Yeah, I like that idea. I uh, my fork looks like a pitchfork. Yeah, it's a little pitchforky. And then uh, my my handle is way too thick than the ones that I actually have in my house, but that's all right. And then there's a there's a, it gets wider at the end because there's like a little handle on it. And then I'll do a spoon on this side for uh, Jacob, and that's going to be another oval, but it's a slightly different shape. Like the it's like the the spoon is like a miniature bowl. Which is so interesting, but it's rounded. At least this spoon is rounded, and then it's going to have a, a you know a handle that is actually pretty thin, and then that has a you know the stem I should say, and then it's got like a little handle at the end that fits in your palm nicely, balances out like the back end kind of balances out the front end. We haven't done these drawings in a while. Um, is that Brooks? What's up, dude? Can you you can hear me right? Yes. Welcome. Um, all right, so we did, um, we're just doing some more, we're gonna do some embellishment. Embellishment, I don't know if you guys know this, but embellishment means that you um, you basically expand 
um, on an initial idea. Embellish means that if you tell, if you embellish a story, it means you like kind of make up a little bit, make it seem like a little bit more exciting than it probably was. And that's what we're doing with these drawings. We are making this really not very good drawing of a fried egg. We're, we're making it seem way more exciting than it actually is. Um, and it's wonderful. Um, all right, I'm happy. Are you happy? You wanna try another one? Um, excuse me, Trevor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Would you be kind enough to put in a half a piece of toast? Yeah. Should I put it on the plate or on the side? Uh, I think on the side of the plate, like perhaps next to the egg. Okay. Um, so I might I might have to erase a little bit. Do I even have an eraser over here? Yes, I do. Okay, cool. Um so I cut my, some of you guys may cut your toast, like square toast, you cut it in half where you have two rectangular pieces. I like to cut mine on a diagonal. So I'm gonna get a triangle. So this is the top, this is the triangle. That's the top of the toast. And then there's a thickness to it, like a little bit of a crust. And then I'm gonna do the side of it. So that's thick. And then that'll be interesting because I can also use my yellow. I like to, I always put butter on it, I know. I, sh I shouldn't probably, but we have such good butter. The Amish make our butter and it's so good. Anyway, so I can't resist the butter. So I put a little butter on there and then I'll fill in the sides. So with color pencils, I've told you guys this before. I like to use a, you know, a, like a dark outline and then maybe just use the same color and shade it on the inside. I could probably even do that with the plate. I didn't shade the plate, but it's not like a bad move because if we shade the plate, then the egg yolks really stand out as being white. Cause I can't, we're, we're using white paper. So I can't really add white. I could add maybe white crayon, but it probably wouldn't even show up. So if I make this plate gray, so I, it's almost like I'm, it's almost like I'm coloring the egg whites white just by shading the plate around it. And that's something that's good to know how to do. Yeah, so sometimes you don't add white, you just, you add, um, you shade the area all around the thing that you want to be white, especially when you're working on white paper. Um, good suggestion though. Oh, let's get Braden back in the house. looks like he got bumped off. Or Brooks got bumped off. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna cut the other one. Um, Stacy, thank you for that suggestion. That was really good. I love, I love bread and You're butter. You're welcome. <clears throat> Would anyone else care to share? Yeah, yeah, let's see what you got. Let's see it. Nolan, let's see what you got, man. Um, all right, Brooks, it's good to see you back. Sorry you got bumped off. Make, can we make a, can we make, can, do you have, can we make a an axe? Can we make you want you want to make an axe? Yes. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I didn't mean to put that. I didn't mean to plant that in your brain. But this is the next one. The next one I have is this axe. What What were you thinking, uh, Nolan? Because yeah. I might I might have it here. We'll do the axe for sure. But can I share? Yeah. yeah let's see. Let's yeah, see. I think that. Uh... Who hasn't shown that wants to show? Stacy, I think you want to show. And then, oh, Jake, can, I see, Jake yeah. can, I see your, can I see the eggs, Jake? Fine. Oh, nice, Stacy. Oh, is, I didn't put mine. <laughs> oh, it, Nolan. Nolan, go ahead and hold yours up. Yeah. And hold it nice and still. And yeah. down. You got it. That's a nice. Nice. Place. That plate. Yeah. I would, I would, I would like that plate. Yeah. Yeah. But okay, make it Did love. you make that coffee <gasps> cup? Tequila. Love the coffee. Or is it tea? It might be tea. It's Maybe really it's hot funny. chocolate. What is it, Michaela? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> so maybe it's hot. whatever. It's hot, whatever it is. Um, Lassie, can we see yours before we go? Well, you know my other papers? Ooh. Oh, Lassia. 
It's amazing how so nice these can be. Can you bring that a little bit closer to the screen? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right there. I I have to. These are wonderful. Yeah, those are really good. I have the next one. Thank you, Lasia. It can't be food related. The next one because I am so hungry right now. Uh, it's just making me think about delicious food, and I'm I'm having I'm making. Yeah. Um, okay, Mr. so if you have colored pencils, you can go for it. Here's the uh, here's this axe. Now the axe is kind of interesting because it's like a tool, so it chops wood, and I think we might be able to make it a little bit more uh, three dimensional. But we might want to think about where it takes place. Axes might be near a wood pile. Could be in the woods. Um, I don't know. Probably we're probably gonna have some trees. Probably gonna have some branches. Um, yeah, but let's just do the axe first. So the axe itself is a trapezoid. So now I don't want to use like kind of big shape words, but it's all good. The trapezoid is um, shorter on one side and longer on the other. So when I say one side, I mean like here's the short side at the back and then the front is gonna be the blade part. And that's where the ax actually does the chopping. And for some reason, the way that the blade is sharpened, um, it, there's like a line there. So the, the ax handle, the ax itself, the, the metal part is back here. And I think it oftentimes it's painted red. And then the part that's like super sharp um, that does the cutting, that's the front part. Oh, no, sorry, guys. Yeah, I know. Sorry, I was out of focus. I don't know why I was doing that. Um, all right, so here's the blade part. And the ax needs a handle. I wonder why. What, maybe it's like crooked. Let me see if I can straighten it. I can fix the, uh, the autofocus. Um, so the handle, I think, is like one of the most beautiful parts of this drawing in particular. Uh, I'm going to switch over to brown. And the axe handle has like, it's not just a rectangle, even though it's like seems like you could just use a rectangle if you wanted to. Um, so if I could, you could use a rectangle that's just like a simple shape like this. Um, but this axe handle is probably more of a fancy axe handle and it's got like a little bit of a curve to it. So check this out. So I'm gonna do the back, um, which is gonna be an S curve. So it has a little bit of a bend and then we get the bottom of the axe and then we're gonna do a arc for the front. Did I make it too bendy? <laughs> I did. I made, um, I made it way too bendy. It's Sorry. a little bendy. I know. I feel like maybe it would be safer to do a uh, to do a rectangle. <laughs> it's okay. I mean, we're working on shapes, so I like I like the idea of it being curved. I'm using gray. Yeah, gray, gray is a good color. You could use orange. You could use tan. This my the, my um mine looks like it looks like wood that's been stained, like it looks really dark. Or maybe it's got some um you know some oil materials on it. Some like I'm working with like leather gloves that have been oiled up. I don't know. Um, I might as well just make another axe. Ooh. Yeah, you could probably experiment with like different axe hand axe blades. Have you ever seen an axe that looks like this? It's got the end of it is like really curvy. I like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's almost like a it's almost like a hatchet. Like an axe might be like for larger cuts, and a hatchet might be for um, slightly smaller pieces of wood. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh yes i just thought of an idea all right so check this out so i'm going to draw really lightly like a tree trunk and i'll show you what i'm going to do before you do anything so this is my tree trunk a lot of times when you get a when an axe cuts into the tree it you chop from the top and you chop from the bottom and you wind up getting like this wedge shape. So there's like hacks that come in this way and hacks that come in from the bottom. 
so this so really what i'm doing is like making all this the tree is bark here and then i'm showing where we like chopped into the tree And you can use you can use a uh, tree for you know for lumber to build houses, build boats, build furniture. I don't know what kind of tree this is. All right, I just figured out what kind of tree it's called, it is. You ready? I'll let you know if you yeah. can, if you can guess. Oh yeah, that's what oh. I was going to say. Oak oh, tree. <laughs> Yours can be an oak tree. Apple tree. Yeah. Um, I have class from four fifteen to five fifteen. Yes. Is she gonna make it? Is she here in camp? No, mom's Jacob, did you yeah, have a well, question? I mean, she, she can come. Just stretching. Okay. Thank you. Is it? Uh, was it? Was it a cherry tree that George Washington chopped down? Or was it an apple tree? Uh, it was cherry or apple. It was cherry. Yeah. Thank you. Well, it's too late now. I can't turn it into an apple tree. I can't turn it into a cherry tree. It looks too much like an apple. You could do both. But then I can make, I'll be, I can make I'll a branch, I can branch come in from over here. Ooh. Move my axe. But then it would be a oh. weak tree. I like that uh, composition with that mat, Max. That axe moved over to the right next to that tree. I like that. Can I share mine? Mm. Sure. Would love to see it. Um, mine is this. There's my cherries. Oh my god. Hold that uh, nice and still, Michaela. Okay, up a little bit. Look at that tree stump. Up a little more. And freeze. Very nice. Ah, yeah. you've got a tree a stump there. Almost okay. done. Michaela, that reminds me. Okay. Um, that because you I think you could probably see the rings of the tree, you know, if you cut. If, even from my angle, you could see the rings because tre trees grow in rings like that. It's really good observation. So if you did a little trunk here, you draw an oval just like you would, you know, the plate. You can draw the rings and then you can draw the roots. Great, great concept. Great concept. I'm going to put some grass um, near the base of the tree. Oh man, that's good. That is good stuff. <clears throat> Tastes such a uh, good let's see that, Jacob. Nice. Well done, Jacob. Yeah, you 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 draw Close really up for you. You draw big too. I'm gonna keep going with the grass. Should Quite I put nice. mountains? Should I put mountains? Should I put mountains in the background? Hmm. Yeah, yeah. I would love to see that. You should also do some more trees. No, I think you're right. All right, so here's my, there's some mountains. Maybe I'll do trees along the. Uh... It's 25 minutes. Okay. Thank you. Let's turn into a long, a long warm up, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. Trees, 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 trees. And then we'll do distant field. Sorry, I think I might be having too much fun. Uh, <laughs> should I do a sun? It's allowed. Here? I'll do a bright sun. Can you put another tree behind uh, in, behind the bushes? tree behind the bushes oh like another set of trees yeah oh, i can make pine trees like more um triangles 
some of these trees can look like clouds and then others can look like triangles. And I'm gonna make some birds way off in the distance. <laughs> there it is. All that, all of that stuff from just this one little drawing of an ax. Not bad. Uh, Brooks, what you got? Can I see what you did? Ooh, yeah. Cool. Oh, hold that up again, Brooks. It's not quite Please. done yet. It's all good. Can you hold that up again for me, Brooks? Very nice. Um, no, <laughs> Thank how the, you. How are you your axe? Can I see your axe? I wonder if I should put mine inside of a rectangle. There we go, Nolan. Wow. Big time. Those are heavy duty. Yeah. Heavy yeah. duty. I like the yeah, excellent. I used the gray marker. I used the gray marker. Good. Yeah, marker. Yeah, good. Colors are great. I love using colors. I, 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 would, I, should, I draw without color too often. I need to draw more. Okay, let me see, put this down here. I'm gonna put mine inside of a rectangle. So that looks like it's a, now it looks almost like a, like a picture, like a printed out picture. Um, all right, uh, we saw Jacobs and then anybody not show? Lots yet. Can we see yours? And I don't think we've saw Michaela's yet. Look at that. Oh, I love how they're Hold all- Hold that a little bit. Uh Closer to you, Basia. And down, oops. Uh, down a little further and freeze it. Very nice, thank you. Mine looks like wow. that. Looks like what? I put in a big box around it, but it's really light. Okay, yeah. Yeah, uh, it, I can it, see it. it. it it still it still works. I mean, at least you can. I mean, you can see it. That's the important thing. All right, here we go. Ready for the broken drawing number one. So the nice thing is that the drawings, uh, the drawings that we're going to do are um, actually one. We've got a couple things that we're going to do. Um, but I'm trying to think. Let's just practice. Let's just practice the idea of a broken drawing. So let me just draw maybe like the idea of a pine tree. So this is the idea of a pine tree. So they're just like little, they're little triangle tips. You can see how the pine needle, pine leaves like come out in those boughs like that. You know, it comes through, you have a, a, um, a whatever it's called, the trunk, and it comes off the side like this. That's like how you could draw it. And then you can have broken lines on the inside, meaning they don't attach to anything else. Now check this out. What if we drew this tree with a bunch of broken lines, meaning the lines are not touching anything else. We can even go like this. So lots of little, oops, sorry. So there's the top of the tree and then we get a bow with little branches coming off. And then if we build up these little lines going in these directions. You don't have the outline of the tree, but you have something that looks like a tree with all of these little separate lines. And it is a way that you can that you can draw. It takes a little bit of time and you can have different shapes. You can do dots sometimes. Um, the drawing that we're going to do is going to be a, um, a dog that's got all these like fur lines around it. So the, your instinct is to want to draw the outline, you know, to draw the outline of the tree like this, but you've just got to like hold off from drawing the outline. I and only, this one. How'd you do? I know I'm doing this one. It's a tree. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, that's, exactly, that's the first one. Try to draw one that's broken though. So try to draw one that looks like this. Um, 
Well, what else could we draw? Okay, yeah, we can just draw shapes this way too. So if you drew a circle, and then you could draw a broken circle. So you just use dotted lines. It's still a circle, but it's, it's separate. You could draw a square, solid square versus a broken square. And sometimes you need a broken line and sometimes you need shorts. a solid line. What's that? We should do shorts. <laughs> shorts? <laughs> Here's a pair of shorts. Well, watch this. I'll do the elastic band of the shorts will be solid. And then the, the short, the sleeves of the legs will be dotted. Nice. I can put some stripes at the bottom, stripes on the side. Interesting. Okay. <clears throat> Are you guys ready for dog, for dog number one with broken lines? I think so. I think so too. I'm nervous, but not that nervous. I don't get that nervous. All right. Uh, he's so cute. He reminds me of Tucker. Lines. I did it. Let's see. You did it? It's right, somewhere right around there. Perfect. I can Yeah, I, can I see, see that. I can see fish in the leaves. <laughs> Last year, so you said word? I think you I think yours? you're gonna find I think you're gonna find a couple of hidden pictures in here. Um, there might there might be a carrot right around here too. Um, I'm a carrot. <laughs> good. And I think that's it for the hidden pictures. I don't think there's any other hidden pictures. There are leaves, and they are kind of nice. The leaves are actually really beautiful. I, uh, I was thinking this I might be a butterfly. Fish. I was thinking that might be a butterfly, but it's actually not. And then I thought maybe this down here. This is like a sad lemon. Doesn't that look like a sad lemon? Next to yeah, the well, the sad lemon is kissing a fish. Right. No wonder. And the, and the leaf has, has a smile. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's the, that's a, like a frown. That, I don't know. I think that could be a butterfly. Okay, let's try, the, the let's try this thing. The one that you just... Uh, <laughs> Uh, pointed at is a yeah. carrot. Oh yeah, well this one is definitely a carrot. Oh and yeah. This is from the guy above. This is a shoe, but that's from that's from an actual character in the drawing. Um, okay, so let's do it first. Let's do the let's do the part that's like is not does not have a broken line, and that is the nose and the mouth. So those are, in my opinion, those are kind of the easy part. So let's do the nose, and it's going to be an oval. And in order to show that the, the nose is wet, the artist has left a little white patch indicating that it's reflecting light. So whenever you want something to look light, um, looks like, look wet rather, you can leave a little white highlight on it. And then we'll, like, a, like a classic dog, we'll go from the nose um, down into the mouth. So he's got fur on his upper lip. Ooh. Here you go. Here's Spence. Spencer just made it in. He was um, he had a full day of school today, so um, I got to fill him in on the uh, the program as soon as he arrives. Don't you, have up, to Spencer? Sing, don't you have to sing Happy Birthday? Hi. Hey, Spencer. Um, you guys want to sing Happy Birthday? Yes, please. Let's do it. One, two, three. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That was not a good start. That was not a good start. I need everybody to sing. <laughs> Full throated. It's Spencer's birthday. Spence, how old are you? Nine. Excellent. Oh, that's a good All right. age. All right, everybody. When I say, when I count to three, we're going to sing happy birthday, Spencer, and then we'll get back to our dog drawing. One, two, three. Happy birthday, Happy birthday to, you. to you. Anybody else? Happy birthday Happy to birthday you. Jacob, to let me hear you. you. Nolan. Happy birthday. Happy dear birthday, Spencer. dear Spencer. Happy, Happy birthday. Happy birthday to, to you. you.
Hi, Spencer. Well, Happy birthday. Hey, Spencer. Guess what? This is not a music class. It's a it's an art class. <laughs> I there so. two Trevor twists. Oh wait, never mind. I saw two Trevor twists. So that um that's Kristen. She's taking attendance. She comes in in the background and make, checks everything off. Um, all right, Spencer. So what we're gonna sketch is this this dog, and I chose something that was like on the easier side because we're gonna be doing broken lines. Um, so we're starting with a part we you haven't missed much actually. We did a couple of sketches. I like that. I like that bunny, dude. Um, so <clears throat> let's start with the nose, and it's just gonna be an oval. And there's going to be um, a highlight on it. The highlight is like really important. Dogs' noses, for some reason, are wet all the time, and you can actually tell whether they're healthy or sick by like the wet, how wet their nose is. It's very strange. It's cute so for some reason, but um, I just I'm like imagine sometimes if humans had like imagine if your nose was like wet all the time, like so weird. It would be so weird. Um, okay, so we're going to go from this wet nose, which has the light highlight, and we're going to do the mustache. So the bigger you make the mustache, the happier this dog is going to be, like the bigger the mouth. Um, so this isn't really the upper lip. It's hair that's coming over top of the upper lip. Now, the bottom lip is actual skin, and you can actually see that because it's nice and smooth and there's a line there. So we see the left side of the lip. And then it turns the corner and we see the right side. Well, technically um, this was the right side and then the left side. Um, he does this like ant classic um, animal tongue, you know, where you like, you just draw like a little arch in the mouth and then it looks like a tongue. Can we do a, can we do a dirt bike, a dirt bike next? Uh, didn't we do a dirt bike? No, he did not. I don't. I don't I recall doing a dirt bike. Maybe not. Um, perhaps I think we're gonna do an American flag. That's, we're definitely gonna do an American flag. <clears throat> as soon as we finish this, the dog with the broken lines. All right. So here we go, guys. This is like the part that is, you know, kind of interesting. So we go from the nose up to like these two floating eyes. So you have a left eye, which is an oval, and you have a right eye. And it's just like floating there in the middle of nowhere. And then there's these eyebrows, which on the, you know, have three, there's three lines on the eyebrows on the left. There's three lines on the eyebrows on the right. And that's where our, that's where these lines are broken. So the broken lines describe the, the fact that it's like furry. Um, and there's no color, obviously. So, you know, we would get more lines if we were coloring it. Um, so let's do uh, the ears. And if you notice, one ear is broken lines, the other ear is solid lines. Either way, it's just like the tree. One tree had a solid line, the other tree had a broken line, but they were the same shape. So the shape that we're using for um, the ear is a triangle. So we'll do one triangle on the right, and then we'll do a solid triangle on the left. Now there is hair coming off of that triangle, but there's definitely a line there. And then just like you draw the inside of the ears, you can see there's a little miniature triangle on the inside. And that's kind of where the, uh, you know, that's like the ear canal. We're so close to being done, y'all. So you have the uh, the broken line for the ear on the right, and then you come down the cheek, and the cheek leads you down into the chin. I love it. So I actually hadn't noticed this, but the 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 dog has like a combination of broken lines and solid lines. Oh wow! Look at that. Mm -hmm. Um, but not really, the, the solid lines may not even be that way. It might just actually be the shadow that's on the bottom. So where the dog is in contact with the ground, you know, there's a much thicker line there. Um, but let's just go from, uh, we'll, go ahead, we'll go head to tail. Um, there is a holly leaf 
on his back. So if you're trying to draw his back, I wouldn't because Aww. it's not his back. It's actually a holly leaf. And the holly leaves are almost like spider webs in that you're using constantly using um, concave lines. Holly leaves are actually really beautiful. So I'm just gonna draw it a couple of times so in case you guys missed it. So you have a holly leaf, one, two, three, come to the point, one, two, three. And then we gotta get his rear end leading into the tail. So we'll do some broken lines for his back. And then we gotta do the tail. The tail almost looks like a leaf to me. What is that shape? Is that a teardrop shape or a leaf shape? Spike leaf shape. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, spike is or a horn, looks like a rhinoceros horn. But either way, when you draw the outside line, None of those marks connect. Then we'll do uh, his the other part of his thigh, the back of his thigh, and we'll do the front of his thigh. And then it's just a classic dog foot. We'll do one toe, two toe, three toes. I'm not gonna worry, I'm not gonna worry about the plants that are overlapping it. I don't think I'm going to do the plants that are There's more holly right behind his foot. Correct. That's what we can add that later. Maybe I just wanted to get, I wanted to like see the dog. We might have to erase some lines, but I kind of, I kind of used my x-ray vision. I like looked through the holly leaf to kind of see that the leg was behind that leaf. And, you know, I drew it. So there's two ways we could go now. I mean, the nice thing is that we went from head all the way to toe. You know, we went from the head mm -hmm. to, the, to the ears, down his back, into the tail. We get his thigh and his thigh and his foot. We could go from the belly, you know, there's a rib cage down here, into the arms in the front. Or we could go back to the face and draw the arms. I think I might do that. Um, I think it's going to be easier to connect the 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 front of the arms to the feet rather than come up through the belly. So let's just do that. Um, I'm gonna come right from his chin. I'm gonna do the front foot. Might make his feet a little longer. And I love how his toes overlap. So there's the back toe, which is in front of the middle toe, which is behind the front toe. And then again, I have to use my x-ray vision to get this paw. And it's the paw into the elbow and then the elbow back into the body. You can even give him some uh, claws, just a little um, toes, claws. It makes him look more like a wolf or something, but you know, dogs have long nails. We take our dogs to the groomer, they always clip them, but um, she's my dog still like on the hardwood floor. Sounds like she's tap dancing. <laughs> That's cute. Uh, so we got the right leg and then we got the left leg broken line on the top of the paw and then we'll do these three toes um the dogs really have four toes but this is a cartoon so i don't think they were looking at an actual dog when they drew this and then we'll do the rib cage broken you can actually tell that the way the artist drew the rib cage was with a broken line and then he thought to himself, all right, well, I don't want this dog floating around. So I'm gonna put a shadow um, where the dog is in contact with the ground. So this is the point where if you wanted to add the leaves, I would add the leaves now. Because if you see the, you know, the carrot and this leaf that come in front of the arm, I, I'm gonna leave it out just because I'm interested in the shadow shape. So I'm gonna start adding a shadow wherever the dog is in contact with the ground. There's just going to be a, a thicker line and it's going to be this, you know, it's going to be the shadow of the toes. So I can like draw little curvy, curvy shadows on the ground. And then the, what was a broken line kind of turns into a solid line as I shade where the dog is in contact with the ground. And it's a little disappointing, but it's okay. Sometimes you gotta, 
change it. And then there's a little part for the back of the foot. And then I don't, and then his rear end, his back thigh is off the ground. Wow, I think that's good. I like my drawing. Now, the question is whether you wanna add more fur elsewhere. Like sometimes it's nice to add fur where the knee is. You can put some maybe, you know, where the arm meets the shoulder. You know, if you start putting marks inside, you might have to do them all over the place. So I don't know, maybe it's better to just leave it and then color it later. I love this little pink tongue. He's such a healthy dog. <clears throat> nice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, so it's my job as an art teacher to make sure that you guys get the information that you need. So are you guys okay with drawing one more version of the dog? It'll look like the two dogs are playing with each other. Can It'll look so them? good. All right, let's do it. And the, be the best part about this is that since you've already drawn this dog once, it's gonna be even easier the second time. It's just gonna be the same stuff, but a little bit different. And wait till you see this dog, it's so cute. Not to mention there's a hidden piece of pie and a glove in there. Um, so how did everybody do? Before I move on to the next one, are we, are we, are we feeling pretty good about it? Jacob, don't like it. Yes, no, yes. Oh, Jacob, Kayla, you're going you up and down. Yeah. Let's see what Jacob, you, do you know, we can show improve it? these things. Oh my gosh, Nolan, that's like maybe the best drawing I've ever seen you do. Yes, Michaela. Yes. Nolan, Michaela, excellent. Oh. Spencer, are you still working on it or can I see it? Oh, man, that was so sweet. Hold on. Yeah, one. Still working on it. Okay, Michaela, hold that up again. Yeah. yeah. Will. Nice. I love your interpretation. That's usually a lot. He almost, he's so tall, he looks like a Pez dispenser. Thank you. I didn't fantastic. get the tall one. Who's drawing a tall one? Oh, Spencer. Spencer, man. Not it? finished. Okay. Yeah, take your time. You can show it. You can show uh, it afterwards. Let's Brooke, go. how about you? I don't know what that sound is. I don't know what it is. Um, Spencer, um, I have to mute you. Sorry. Okay. Right. Oh my God, it's cicadas. Is that cicadas? It might be cicadas when my brother's having a party outside. Oh, okay. One of the oh my gosh. Can I, can I show you, can I, <clears throat> can I play the sound of my cicadas in my backyard? You guys will get a kick out of this one. Hold on. Okay, you ready for it? This is my, this is my dog. I don't know if you can hear this, but. Can you hear that? Yeah. I don't know if it's coming from me or from that side. So I'm right near the Amazing. woods. And they're so loud. <clears throat> I couldn't even hear anything. I like was trying to yell for the dog to come in and he was like, I can't hear it. He, he couldn't hear it. Um, wow. All right. Wait till you see this next one and how nice it's going to be. So he's like, it's almost, everything is almost exactly the same as the first one. He's just on his hind legs and he's off to the side. So if we follow the same procedure. We can make the two dogs playing with each other, which will then make a whole scene. And I think it'll be fun. I see um, a picture of a pie. Yeah, there's a, there's, this one has a pie and a glove. And what's the other thing? It's got like two gloves. There's like, oh, there's a hand. That's not a thing, but that's a glove right there. Where's my pencil? Stacy, did you take my pencil? Oh, here it is. No, it's just to your left. Oh. I'm sorry, to your right. No, it is. It's to you see left. it? Mm -hmm. You're the best. Okay. You are the best. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so if you imagine you know, where the dogs are playing, um, you know, the, this guy is below, so he's low to the ground. And Spencer, your guy might still be low to the ground, even though he's like sitting up. The other guy's like standing up. So you could do the same situation where like, you know, we're trying to get these two dogs to like interact with each other so they can like play around. 
Um, if you had a good drawing the first time, that's great. If it's if it, it didn't go so well, it's all right. You can try it. You can try again the second time. Um, Nolan, you did a great job. Looks like you had plenty of room on your paper. Um, I think Michaela, you have a little bit of room on there too. Um, Lassia, how'd you do? Are you pretty, are you in good shape? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, so let's got, see that last year. Got, Hold that up again. Too. You've got lots of room on that side as well. Oh, so cute. I really like those claws too. So yeah, I'll tell great. you what, I'll tell you what, um, I'll pull after we do the second dog, we'll pull the other image in and then we can put leaves all in the ground. We can spend like the last couple of minutes doing the leaves. Um, all right, so I'm gonna start up high because I know this dog is gonna be playing up high. I'm gonna start with the nose, just like we did the last time. It's gonna be an I, oval. I hear my, one of the cicadas outside. Yeah. He my one hit my window. Oh my gosh, it's so sad. My I was driving the car coming here, and I hit two cicadas, and I know I killed them. I was like, I mean, I know there's millions of them, but I still felt really bad. Probably the weather. Um. My mom told me that the, they they come in, in midsummer, but right now it's too cold. So they come up and they die. Well, yeah. Mm. Well, mine, <clears throat> the ones in my neighborhood are very happy. Like, very happy. Um, I'm going to draw a cicada next well, week. Uh, uh, yes, I'm going to draw a cicada next week. Is it okay if we draw, is everybody okay with drawing a cicada next week? Yeah. Okay. Also, I, I have a lot made, of images. We made something really cool in art today. What is that? Or, uh, it was a finger puppet. Okay. Um, all right, here we go, guys. Um, let's do this because I, I want to make sure we finish this before um, class is over. And for some reason, the dogs take like, a lot longer than I was expecting. Okay, we'll go. Um, all right, so it's good. We did the nose. Oh, I gotta, I gotta mute you again. The cicadas are just like too loud. There, uh, there are three more days until my school's over. Oh man, it's summer! I cannot wait for summer. I have nine days. I have right. two weeks left. Oh, my is school. All right, so we're going to do the mustache, which is basically the hair on the upper lip of this dog. And then we're going to do the skin of the lower lip, which basically is going to make him smile. This is where you want to make him smile. And then we'll do the lip on the far side. It's, it's like it's, almost exactly the same dog. Yeah, I think it's the same dog, just in a different position. I think you're right. It could be like, it could be uh, from a different litter, but who knows? It's probably this guy's dog. And the, the, the nice thing is, is that he draws it the same way. So I want to draw it the same way. So you remember it. So, you, but it's like a different, it's like a slightly different version of the same thing. And that's how you remember things. You like, you, you, pra you do it once and then you practice it a little bit different. Um, okay, so cool. I did the mouth. I got the tongue. I got the inside of the mouth, which is shaded a little bit. Now we're going to go um, from the snout up to the floating eyes. Now notice that the eyes are a little bit lower in this one, which is kind of interesting. Maybe, maybe it makes it look like his head is tilted backwards. And I'm just using a solid circle. You, if, I know you guys know how to draw interesting eyes. If you wanted to draw, you know, I, you, I know you know how to draw eyes in different ways. So you don't have to just use this oval, but I'm going to keep it. I'm going to stay the same. All right, so we did the floating eyes. Then we're going to come, then, now here comes the broken line part. So we break the line, separate marks that do the eyebrows that lead into like the hair on the top of the head. That's interesting. So I'm not seeing like a lot of eyebrow. Um, and both ears, both triangles of the ears are broken. Now you see little triangles on dark triangles on the inside of the ear, which is pretty standard. Do a broken triangle up here. Hopefully I have enough room. It looks like I do. Excellent. And I love these little triangles, these little, um, you know, dark triangles on the inside of the ear. When you have a broken line on the outside, sometimes the marks on the inside 
um, you know, help give it some structure. And that's definitely the case here. All right, so we've got the lines that define the ear and then we're gonna do the, the cheeks and then the cheeks lead into the chin. And the chin and the cheeks are two different things. I mean, if you look, if you look closely, you know, you have like this nice little zigzag um, that comes down, the squiggle, it comes down for the cheeks and then the, the direction of the lines in the um, chin you know, are at a different angle. So that's good to know. Okay, you know how I like to do it. We'll go head to toe. So we'll go from the, um, his face, you know, his, his, the, his head, which is his neck into his back. And then that's gonna lead us down into the tail. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna make my body a little bit longer in the spirit of Spencer's piece. And then I'm gonna make my tail a little bit shorter. But the only reason I'm doing that is because I need my tail to fit onto the paper. I wouldn't do it for any other reason. Um, yeah, there's something sad. I don't know. My my, I have I have uh, both of the dogs that I live with. They don't have they they have like really short tails, so they have like stubby ones. And I always see them swinging it. I'm like, oh man, imagine if they had long tails. Okay, back leg. <laughs> we don't get to see. We see a little bit of the back of the thigh, so therefore we got to get the front of the thigh. That's how you draw arms and legs. You draw the inside and the outside first. And uh, we don't have to worry about the feet, but I'm going to worry about the feet because I, you know, like, I, I know how to draw dog's feet. So we're going to go from the um, hips to the knee and we'll do knee to the ankle as he's standing up. And then we'll go from ankle to the ball of the foot. And then we'll do the toes. One toe, two toes, three toes. Uh-oh, I hope I didn't make those toes too long. Nice. We can add some uh, leaves behind, but I, again, going from head to toe is just like a good plan. Excuse me. More broken lines, which is great. We're gonna do the paws at the top of the paw curls into the front of the paw, one toe, two toes, three toes. No, I did that backwards. Don't anyone look at that. We'll do one toe in front of the middle toe, which is in front of the last toe. And I like to give them little toe. I like to give them nails. Little puppy paws. And then broken lines on the bottom of the, of the arm. And if we did one, it's easy to do the second one. Do the top of the paw into the one paw, one toe is in front of the middle toe. We, Trevor? The middle toe is in front of the last toe. Yeah. We have one minute. Okay, I think we, I mean, all I really need is to draw the belly. And uh, instead of doing the broken line, he does a zigzag. Look at that. So we'll go, boom, 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 boom. That's it, took me one second. Less than a second, actually. Um, I do like the idea of a pile of leaves. So in the next couple seconds here, and we can go a minute or two over, I'm gonna draw different kinds of leaves. We can draw holly leaves. And this should be the fun part. Um, you can like draw four leaf oak leaf leaf. clovers. Yeah, you can do four leaf clovers. Oh, wow, yes. We'll do a couple three leaf clovers. Couple three leaf clovers. Three leaf clovers. And then we'll do a couple of four leaf clovers. Well, maybe just one four leaf clover. So what you do is you just, you know, populate the ground. These are kind of simple leaves. I like the kind that are the shape. Uh, we could do triangular leaves. Um, the shape of the tail, that uh, teardrop shape. Those are, um, that's a nice, that's a nice leaf to do. Trevor, this one I drew for my imagination. Yes. Yes. Is he, is he jumping over? 
Great job, Spencer. Hold that. Nice. Yeah, hold that again. Still, a little. Yeah, he's jumping behind. Hold, hold it right there. Nice. Nice. Um, ooh. Um, Michaela, you're kind of good at flowers, aren't you? Are you pretty? Are you good at flowers? Yeah, I can draw flowers. Yeah, I can draw flowers. Yeah, you keep going in and out, Trevor. I'm not sure if you can hear that. I'm getting robotics. I'm getting robotics too. So really what I was saying was, is that, um, Michaela, you could always do flowers. I don't know if you heard that. Okay. I was thinking back here, we could set up a whole flower arrangement. I was about to do a flower. And there's little flowers on the ground. Um, have you ever seen those, have you ever seen those um, strawberries on the ground that you can't eat? No. Um, Trevor? I can't, we can't hear yeah. Is that you, Jacob? Yeah. Yes, Jacob. Um, it's for two. Okay. Thank we can, you. We can end it. Is there anyone um, that would, would like to show? Yeah, one last time. I'd love to see, I'd love to see what you guys did. Do you think the center. Of... Missing one of the legs. Yes, okay. Um, Nolan, that that dog is awesome, dude. Ooh, I forgot the oh, shadow. Nolan. You guys remember? I think Nolan remembered the shadow. I gotta do a shadow on the ground. Okay, yeah, Spencer. Sorry, dude. I'm, we just can't. We just can't hear because of the robotics and the cicadas. Um. All right, Michaela, what you got? And Lassia, you're next. Oh, they're so fun. Little playful puppies. There's two little tuckers. Uh, two little tuckers. <laughs> um, Lassia, can we see yours before we go? It's 4.03. I got this other, ooh, Maddie, we gotta clear these tables. Oh. Um, let's see it. Very oh, nice, Lassia. So Hold on that one second. So I'm gonna pin you so I can figure out how to do it. There we go. Can we can we do a dirt bike next time? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna write down dirt bike. Um, I thought I could have sworn we did a dirt bike, but maybe not. Uh, dirt bike, yeah. Amer an American flag. We didn't get to the American flag today, Got but it. I have a really good system of drawing stars. Cicada, yeah. cicada, cicada, cicada. And then the cicada. Sorry, thank you. Oh my goodness, cicada. All right, so we'll, we'll prioritize the cicada. Yeah. And then, uh, and then, can you hear me now? Uh, yes, you sound like a robot, though. Asia, thank you so much. It's wonderful. It's like a lot of fun in that picture. All right, what would you say, Spencer? You can send me a chat. You were missing one. You're missing the dog that was standing up leg. I am um, missing the dog that was standing up leg. You only had one bottom leg. Yes, you're right. Uh, he only has one yeah. bottom yeah, so leg. Yeah. Add this into here. I got it. Um, but thank you. I was going to fill it with uh, leaves. Anyway, great job, everybody. I got to roll. I will see you. Trevor, thank you so much. You're welcome. Great job, everybody. Happy birthday, Spencer. You're the man.